Good morning, Concord. Noah here with a daily devotion. The daily devotion of the day comes from Psalm 24. Um, God laid these verses on my heart this morning. I was, I was just reading through some psalms, and this stuck out to me. Um, psalm 24, there's one word we're going to focus on, but verses 1 through 5 says, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who does not lift up his soul to an idol or swear by what is false? He will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God his Savior. I want to talk to you about idolatry this morning. I know this is a word when we're meeting in person that comes up a lot. I know we have talked about the idea that idols are more than um, just giant golden calves we worship, like idols don't have to be massive statues that we bow before. We've talked about the idea that idols can be where your comfort is. Idols can be what you go to when things are going wrong. Idols can be what you look forward to at the end of a long day, greater than anything else that's just going to fix all your problems. And we've talked about putting idols to the test. And the reason I want to share this with you this morning is as I was thinking about this season of life we're in, I realized that I don't think I could think of a more perfect example of a season to put idols to the test. And here's what I mean by that. There are some people who spend all of their day at work thinking about that one awesome thing they get to do when they get home. That is the the motivating factor for them, whether that is video games, whether that is um, sports on the TV. It's just the one thing on their mind. It motivates them better than anything else. And in this season, some of those things haven't been able to happen. We're strapped for time sometimes. We don't have as much time at home to do the things that we would normally want to do because of all the other things going on. if, if sports is your motivator to get you through the day, this is probably not a fun season for you because there are no new sports on most nights. And so I think this is a really interesting time to, one, look at what motivates us and look at what our driving force behind our life is because it needs to be Christ. It needs to be glorifying Him. We need to be looking in each moment to say, like, man, what is God going to do next? What can I do for God next? What is He going to throw at me next? What can I handle next? Who can I share the gospel with? Who can I love on? Who can I demonstrate God's love to? These are the things that should motivate us. But in talking about what brings us comfort, one of the biggest idols in American culture is money. And it's simply because money buys happiness as as we you know tend to think money buys us the things we want but money keeps us safe and we're in a time where sometimes it doesn't feel like money's going to keep us safe i think we're in a season right now where we are seeing just the degree to what worldly idols can fail and they will fail and so this morning i want to challenge you as this verse says it says who can ascend the hill of the lord He who has clean hands, a pure heart, and does not lift up his soul to an idol. Evaluate where your joy comes from and where your comfort comes from. And both of those things need to come from Christ. He does not need to be the top, um, he does not need to be the top thing you worship. He needs to be the only thing you worship. The other things need to completely pale in comparison to him. So evaluate your life. Cast down any idols because I think we're all seeing that they can't sustain us. Remember that God loves you. Remember that I love you. I'm praying for you. And I am looking forward to this Sunday when we meet together in person.